Hello all, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be seeing if tissue paper that's coloured will work in resin at all. Now I found this tissue paper when I was having a bit of a clear out and it must have been about 10 or 11 years old and I'd forgotten I'd got it. I'm not sure it's going to work because I think what's going to happen is the dye in the paper will run into the resin or it will just go bleh. But we will see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear up the tissue paper into bits large and small and then pop it in the resin. So I'm going to do bits about that sort of size and then I'm also going to do one largish bit or a few largest bits in this coaster mould and we'll see what happens. So I've got my tissue paper all cut up now and in separate parts in colours so I know which ones are which. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and ring my little bell. Ring my little bell. So you don't miss out on any of my future videos and then it will notify you when one comes out. So I'm pouring a little bit of resin into the bottom of each of these moulds really to use as something to stick the tissue paper to so it don't keep flying around everywhere and also to give a layer. Now this tissue paper is so light that it's not going to float up to the top or sink to the bottom. But what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in randomly at the moment because I really just want to test out to see what it looks like when it's cured and if there's anything else I need to do to it to get it to work properly. I just want to say a quick thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. Thank you. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to keep this channel going. And I hope you're enjoying all the perks that come with membership. So I'm randomly doing this. And the next project I do with this, if it does work out, I'm probably going to do more of a mosaic that is constructed. So it looks like either a flower or, or something else with the tissue paper. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I fill this mould up completely so there isn't any real transparent areas. If you'd like to buy me a coffee to say thank you and get your name on my coffee board for next month as well as a thank you, then the link to that is in the description. And every bit I get from coffees, I reinvest and buy stuff for videos. So I'm just going around using my tweezers to put it in because I find that that is a lot less messy to do and I'm filling it all up. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, check out my other channel as well, where I do lots of other different crafting. So there we go, it's all filled up, and now I'm ready to put the resin on top. And what I should have done is, I should have tried to get rid of any bubbles that were encapsulated underneath the tissue paper, which is what I didn't do. But you live and learn. You'll see what the results of that are in a little while. <laughs> when I demold this. So I'm just filling this right up to the very top and I will go over this with a long neck lighter, never a torch on a silicon mold. And if you want to know why, then I will link the video as well at the end of this of what damage a torch does to silicon molds and you will be surprised. So just popping all those bubbles and it's popping them really nicely and getting rid of them. So with the jewelry, now I'm, I'm testing out something slightly different. I want to see what the effect is if you put more than one piece in or you fill it up quite a bit or if you only just put a couple of pieces in and the results of that were quite surprising and, and actually very pleasing as well and you'll see that when I demold these bits and again I'm making sure I fill them up really to the edges so that there's no spare bits. I will leave these to cure overnight, cover them up and let them cure probably for about 24 hours. Well, much to my surprise, it doesn't look like any of these colours have bled. They all look as if they're colour fast, which is really, really useful. The only thing is, I do think there's going to be quite a lot of bubbles in it because I forgot to do any squidgy widgey in and I didn't push out the bubbles that were there, which you've seen me do on other videos. But we can take a look. Yeah, there are some quite quite a few trap bubbles under there, but and it has affected it. But overall, I really like the colours and the way that that's come out in there. Just a little bit more care with the bubbles. So let's have a look at some of the jewellery. A little bit of an overpour there. So the jewellery has come out really nicely, but again, same problem with the bubbles. So it might be one for the pressure pot as opposed to letting it cure naturally. Although 
I think if I did the squidgy widgy and pushed it down and got the bubbles out, rather than just leaving it, I think it would have come out nicely. So let's have a look at this green one. Yeah, I think that's come out really nicely as well. Some of it's gone a little bit more transparent in colour, and I quite like that effect as well. It's like a dusky effect. And again, the same with this dark blue one, but I put more layers of that one in it. Now, I would dome the backs of these, because where it's popping up through, it is a little bit sharp and doming would get rid of that completely. And actually doming would get rid of any of these little bubble dents that are in this jewellery. But that's my own fault. I should know better at my age and with my experience that you do need to do squidgy widgy in to get rid of trapped bubbles. Let me know what you think of these in the comments. I hope you like them. I really like them. And I'm going to play around with this a little bit more in some moulds and different castings and things because I've got loads of this paper and I really do like the effect that it's given. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next. I'll be linking a video on how to do feathering without using alcohol inks in your resin. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and future experiments. And also if you'd like to buy me a coffee to help support this channel, it's really appreciated at the moment, I can't tell you. Or if you'd like to become a member of my channel, then the links to both of that, along with the affiliate links to everything that I use, are in the description below. Take care, be safe, enjoy your resin. Bye.